Hello, my name is Krista Ricard and I'm a student at Emory University. I'm in a class called Health, Food, and Society with Professor Quab. And for my final presentation, I decided to do the plant, the Maristica fragrance. So the Maristica fragrance plant um, produces both nutmeg and mace. They actually come from the same plant. And you can see it here, it grows to be about 9 to 11 meters tall. Um, so today I'll be talking a little bit about the biology, along with the turbulent history and the modern and traditional uses of this plant. So the biological description. <laughs> this plant uh, requires a highly tropical environment because it utilizes the fertile volcanic soil, high temperatures, and high humidity that is found in that region. Um, before maturity, um, it has fruits that are rather peach looking, um, look a lot like peaches. Um, and if you imagine these two halves closed, before maturity. And then after maturity, um, the two halves will split to reveal the seed and the fleshy red avril. And the seed is the nutmeg and the um, fleshy red avril is mace. And uh, to be the nutmeg and mace of commerce, both the seed and the avril have to be dried. Um, uh, these plants are harvested mostly in April and November, though they do produce fruit year-round. And they can produce up to 10 to 14 pounds of mace and nutmeg per year. The biogeography. Um, the biogeography of this plant is actually incredibly interesting. Um, it originated on one island in the Banda Island chain, uh, which is right here. It's now currently a part of Indonesia. Um, and it made a first, uh, nutmeg made its first appearance in Europe in Constantinople in 540 AD after it had uh, crossed India and Arabia to reach Europe. Um, and before the Dark Ages, it was very popular in all apothecary shops and kitchens of Europe. Um, but actually, mace was a lot more popular and more expensive. Um, before the Dark Ages as well, there was a very, uh, the location of these islands and the source of the spice was kept, um, was a large secret. And it led to very ridiculous claims as to the origin. Um, and so they became known as the Spice Islands. Um, and then during the Dark Ages, there was very minimal trade, so um, nutmeg and mace stayed very locally in Indonesia as Europe. Um, uh, trade in Europe pretty much shut down for 400 years. Um, <laughs> then in the Renaissance, it was a period of exploration, and the world's best navies, navies um, decided to um, try to find the uh, coveted Spice Islands and find a quick route to them because the economic potential was enormous. Um, the Portuguese and the Dutch were the first ones to arrive at the Banda Islands, but the Dutch were the ones that actually um, created a settlement there. Um, the, just to give you an indication of the economic potential, the price um, in Europe of nutmeg and mace was three ti 300 times that of the price in the Banda Islands, so uh, there was a huge incentive for Europeans to establish a quick trade route. Um, and uh, in the start of the 20th century, the Dutch or the British started to take over these islands and take control um, from the Dutch. Um, and throughout the 300 years of colonization of these islands, there was immense violent um, and hostile conflict between the local Bandanese and the European conquerors. Um, it led to um, a practically enslavement of the people. Um, exploitation of their natural resources, and um, a lot of uh, fatalities. Um, but in the, towards the middle of the 19th or 20th century, there was a rise of an Indonesian identity, and the Banded Islands were adopted into the nation of Indonesia, um, um, and the British retreated. Um, and though it originated in the Banded Islands, the, Ban the Banda Islands, it's also grown in southern India, Grenada, and um, Trinidad. Uh, it's mostly avoided at industrial agriculture due to its um, necessity for a tropical environment. Um, so some traditional uses of this plant, uh, the Bantanese used it um, to ease stomach and kidney disorders. Um, and it's also used as a hallucinogen in religious rituals. It can be ground into a paste or butter and applied to sprains to ease pain, foreheads for headaches, and used as a soap. And in Malay culture, which is um, a nearby island chain, it's used as an aphrodisiac, a stimulant, and a post-childbirth remedy. It's also used as a digestive aid there as well. 
Uh, and it has maintained its major uses of uh, in both in all of cooking, medicine, and religious rituals um, for thousands of years. Uh, in other rituals, nutmeg oil is spread all over the body for a warm, strengthening, tingling feeling. Um, uh, in modern days, also used in the flavoring of sodas and canned goods. Um, and it's with eucalyptus leaves. It can alleviate diarrhea in dysentery patients. Um, locally, it's used as a snack for children who are just um, out and about in the plantations, and they use it to make a very delicious jam. And in Western culture, it's used to add to holiday dishes, adding a warm, sweet taste that we all know and love. Um, it's tradi traditionally collected by a... Um, long stick with a basket on the end and a hook at the tip of the basket. So they would um, take the stick and kind of prod at the fruit until the hook grabbed it and it fell into the basket and they could grab it. And that's a picture of that. The chemistry and nutrition. So um, nutmeg oil um, contains a lot of turpin hydrocarbons and it these hydrocarbons uh, account for the sugary flavor and the lipid texture of the oil. Um, here you can see them grinding the nutmeg here into the oil, which is put in these um, barrels here. Um, the rest of the nutmeg seed contains a lot of proteins, starches, carbohydrates, fats, and sugars. The aroma of nutmeg is uh, typically contributed to the saffron, meristocin, and elemicin uh, found in the seed. Um, it also contains a lot of um, allelochemicals that we've talked about in class, such as tannins and saponins. The tannins are... Um, antibacterial, um, have antibacterial properties and it binds with proteins in the stomach to minimize damage from toxic chemicals. Um, and the saponins are secondary metabolites that aid in nutrient absorption and digestion. So biological activity. It has, nutmeg has strong antimicrobial and antioxidant properties, meaning it inhibits the growth of disease-causing microorganisms and inhibits the oxidation of free radicals within the body. Um, in modern day, it's used as a, hallucina a hallucinogenic recreational drug in the Western world. Um, there are cases of college students and prison inmates who consume large doses of it to get high. Um, you would have to consume more than a tablespoon, which is um, this quantity here, um, which is a lot of nutmeg. Um, and what it does is it causes hallucinations, paranoia, high blood pressure, and rapid heartbeat. Um, and scientists have discovered that it is the meristocin, which is the flavor um, adding compound that adds to the, these hallucinogenic effects. Uh, the economic impact of uh, nutmeg on the Banda Islands has been enormous. The U.S. and Europe are the largest importers and there's high demand during the holiday season. Um, Indonesia has by far the highest market share at about 60 percent, but it's followed by Trinidad and Grenada with um, much smaller percentages. Um, there are some industrialized plantations in both Grenada and um, Indonesia, but it's mostly been able to avoid uh, industrialization due to the tropical environment, like I said before. Um, and actually, the tumultuous history behind the trade of this spice has led to enormous amounts of tourism for Indonesia. The Banda Islands are a popular tourist destination to see the forts of the Dutch and the of course, gorgeous plantations in the beaches. Um, this is Fort Belgica, which was built in 1611 on one of the Banten Islands. So, in summation, uh, nutmeg has one of the most interesting histories, um, from its role as a superfood in South Asia to its use as a recreational drug in modern day. Um, it has a real potential on a global scale as a digestive aid. Um, the potential for an organic, all-natural um, digestive solution um, could be really helpful to modern times because um, it really fits the definition of a medicinal food. The uh, Bandanese have been using um, uh, nutmeg in the Maristica fragrance plant to ease digestive issues for thousands of years. Um, and this is much, uh, mostly because of their traditional knowledge that has carried on throughout the generations. It's their traditional knowledge that um, aided the British and the Dutch in having any idea how to harvest this plant and to... Um, be able to use it for their economic benefit, um, and it also is what maintains the Bandanese likelihoods to this day as they are mostly in control of their own plantations and hopefully as well into the future. Um, these are my sources. Thank you so much for watching.